Greetings, my Craignators, and welcome to Her Story. Uh, yeah, this is an indie game. It's on Steam. It's $4 right now, I believe. It's on sale. Uh, link for uh, the store page will be in the description. Uh, basically, you play as a detective in 1994, and you have to figure out uh, what happened to a dude named Simon. Uh, basically, most of the gameplay takes place watching a series of interviews by his wife. Uh, yeah, and it looks pretty fantastic, so I'm gonna hopefully upload the full game today. It's gonna be broken down into parts, but yeah. Uh, other stuff like Honey Pop and uh, uh, Penumbra will be back tomorrow. I just wanna play this today because I've been really looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm super excited about this game. Alright, yeah, so this is basically where the entire game takes place. Uh, yeah, so these are the interviews. I think I can also do missing. Okay, um, uh, no. All right, let's go back to murder. Uh, really, read me, dot text. <laughs> uh, here's the database. I filed a Freedom of Information form to get you guest access. Everything seems to work. They transferred the video off the original tapes in 1999, and then the Y2K thing hit and they got mothballed. No one has touched them since. I couldn't find the server with the detective's footage on. Possibly those tapes got damaged when the old archives were flooded in 1997. Uh, but I figured this would be enough. Take your time, SB. Uh, introduction to the Logic Database. Computer technology is the backbone of the modern police work. Uh, the Logic Database is one of the many continuing efforts to uh, digitize our workflow and preserve evidence in a manner which will allow you to work more efficiently. In the coming years, the computer will continue to be most valuable item continue to be most valuable item in your crime fighting toolkit. Okay. Uh, this database contains footage transferred from the existing homicide series homicide and serious crime tape archive at Portsmouth. Isn't that the name of the town in uh that Cthulhu game. Anyways, uh, it's been automatically sorted using our ASR technology. Each statement made by the interview participants is stored separately so they can be tagged for submission to court. The audio has been digitally stenographed and the content of the testimony is attached to each clip. Uh, to retrieve a clip, type in a word, e.g. robbery, uh, into the search field, click search, and the database will return all clips in which the speaker uses that word. To narrow a search, use multiple words, e.g. robbery supermarket. If you are working from a printed transcript, you can uh, be even more precise. Use inverted commas. To, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, Alright, so this, this all makes sense. It's fine. This is really cool. Drag that out of the way. It's in the rubbish bin. Uh, mirror game. What? One for the mums here. Classic two-player strategy for lunch. What? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Cracks with class. I don't know what this is. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's random. All right, uh, let's get started. You think it's murder? I mean, clearly it's murder. What can I do to help? Uh, that's confused. 
Uh, I want to like try to tag these, keep them in order. So she's confused, but yeah, all right. Uh, I want to find the earliest one. So that's in January. No, wait. I think they do the dates different. That's on July first. Third. Okay. Yeah, that's me. But February, and that was months ago. What's that got to do with Simon's murder? Uh, looking at photo. Okay, so these are all way later. So let's do missing. I thought it maybe sound suspicious. It's not a normal thing to do to drive to the other end of the country. I just, I wanted to keep it simple. I know it was stupid not to tell you everything. Seeing I spent the night in Glasgow when my husband went missing, I thought it would, you know, distract you from what was important. It's different now. Now he's. Ooh. Left info out. Alright, so. Let's look up Simon. <laughs> Uh, these are all really short. I wonder if I can find, like, the full clips. Ooh, Simon has 61. Ah, jeez. Oh, wow. I kind of like it like this, though. It gives it more of, like, a real... More of a real feeling. Like, uh, I'm recording the screen with my phone or some shit. Simon. Simon Smith. He works at Ernst Brothers Glass. They do windows, all kinds of glass. Simon does the more special work. Mirror making, feature windows, artistic things. Really beautiful things. Okay, so he's talking about Simon's jobs. Or Simon's job. Interesting. So... 19, uh -huh. Alright, let's add these to a session. So I can get a lot of these in a row. Two. One more. Simon. Simon Smith. He works at Ernst Brothers Glass. They do windows, all kinds of glass. Simon does the more special work. Mirror making, feature windows, artistic things. Really beautiful things. So how do I play a session? I thought I could play a session. Hmm. Alright, let's just watch these. Um, Simon is six foot, darkish blonde hair, average build. Um, he's clean shaven. If his beard grows, it goes ginger, so he shaves it. <laughs> I mean, not that there's anything wrong with ginger hair. Uh, I bought a photo instead of a spring photo. This was taken last year on holiday in Rome. It's the best one I have. Okay, so description of Simon. This is really cool. I'm I'm really digging this so far. It's the Rockington Arms, The Rock. It's run by a nice couple, Peter and Susan. There's some other regulars there that Simon likes to drink with. And the barmaid they're having sometimes, Helen. Peter said Simon had been in and had a few drinks. Okay. Peter was drinking. Yes, there's an Amstrad one. No one uses it for very much. There's a printer so you can write letters on it. 
Simon sometimes plays games, you know, climb the tower, save the princess, that kind of thing. Uh huh. Uh, hold on, let me adjust my mic really quick. That way I'm not picking up a lot of picking clacking of the keyboard. Uh, plays computer games. Simon isn't the type to run off or do anything crazy. Someone must have done something to him, or there must have been some kind of accident. So what do we do next? Huh. Uh, doesn't think it is a murder. All right, so how do I? Uh, let's see. I want to find like the first, the first interview. I didn't murder Simon. You've got it wrong. You've got the wrong person. Uh-huh. Oops. I'd like to speak to the lawyer now. Please. You have no murder weapon. You have nothing. And all these stories we've been telling each other, just that. Stories. Ooh. Okay, so let's look up, uh, missing again. That seems to, no, um, hmm. So how do I take it out of session? Can I delete it? Can't right click. Here, let's uh... Oh, whoops. Oh, that totally logs me out. Got it. Let's see, what can I do? Name? Uh, so let's see, that's from June. June. Alright, so these seem like closer to the beginning. Oh, she has a lie detector on there. My name is Hannah. H-A-N-N-A-H. -N it's Pamandre. It reads the same backwards as forwards. Oh, shut up. It doesn't work if you mirror it, though. It's not quite symmetrical, but well, I mean, you get the idea. Sorry. Hannah Smith. I live at 31 Gladstone Street. All right, so what? <laughs> All right, so this is from a few days later. Well, here, actually, let's add this to session. I want to try to get them all in order. Simon is six foot. Okay. So that's the description. Description of Simon. Oops, with Simon. Simon's job. Doesn't think it's murder. Is this the name one? My name is Hannah. Yeah. Uh, Hannah is crazy. Okay, got it. Wish I could take you out. How do I take you out of session? Whatever. All right, uh, let's do this one. I would have been a good mother. I was young, but I would have been a good mother. 
She was a girl, by the way, the baby. We were going to call her Sarah. Simon wanted to call her Ava after his nana, but I didn't want her to have a symmetrical name. They had a baby. Diwad? They had a baby. Dead? Okay. Does she have a tattoo? You got me. I'll confess. We were there. It was a dirty weekend. Simon was going to expense it, pretend it was a business trip. I used a made-up name. We stayed at the hotel. Had room service. Didn't leave the room. I had a great view of the river, and you could hear the church bells. Like you said, it was very romantic. Interesting. Okay, so secret romantic weekend. Yes, my name is Hannah Smith. Oh, shit. Sorry. Uh, Hannah Smith anymore? My name? That was the only question I failed. <laughs> Your lie detector works. Uh, failed name question. But why? Alright, let's look up, uh, baby. Oh, god damn, we have so many. We spent the wedding night in a hotel in Brighton. It would have been too much to do more. We were saving for the baby. It was wonderful to be in a hotel, away from home, just alone together. Since then, we've always tried to get away for our holiday. Okay. Wedding. Holiday, blah, blah, blah. We couldn't afford our own place. Simon dropped out of school, went full-time at the Glaciers. That was Eric's generosity. We moved in with his mum and dad. They had a spare room for us and the baby, if it came. It was a nice change, time to myself, living there for those months, full of hope. Okay. Uh... New place to live, I guess? No. I lost the baby. Well. I had a miscarriage at eight months. Wow, that's super late. We carried on living at Simon's parents until that was only a few months after. And this is pretty early on. That's June 25th, she reported it on the 18th. Okay, got it. Man, that jacket, though. It was after dinner. I had spoken to Sam's parents on the phone. I looked up for an early night, and I suddenly had this thought. I think it was something his mum had said. She'd been speaking about old stuff. Sad stuff. About when we lived there. About the baby. There's some boxes in the cellar, nursery stuff, stuff we never needed, and I never had the heart to throw out. And I suddenly remembered that when I looked down there the week before, those boxes, that pile was in the wrong place. I went cold all over. I went down there with a the torch and went straight to the back, and that's when I saw the bin bags. Pulled them open, saw the body. What? I screamed, and that's when I called the police. Whoa, that was weird. <laughs> body. So 
What body? Yes. It was a shock to him. I mean, we never thought it was possible. I don't know what he... I mean, I hadn't decided whether to keep the baby. I wasn't really ready to talk to him about it. What? Abortion? Okay, so nothing about abortion. Um, let's see, what can what else can we look up? Oh yeah, body. There's something about a body in a bin bag. Why does she have a guitar? <laughs> what? The bruise. I have a really fast metabolism, so stuff like that just comes and goes. I don't know if there's much more that I can tell you, but I haven't already told the other policemen. I found the body. I... No bruise. What fucking body? God damn it. His body. It didn't look real. And his throat. It looked like his throat had been cut. And I didn't see his glasses. There's these thick glasses. What? So, the uh, throat? Throat. Cut. Whose body is it? Was it Simon's? Was it your husband's? Oh, I'm so confused. Really? Okay. Here's the rest. Random song. What the fuck? All right, uh, one more. Then I'm gonna end the video. Can you imagine? I tried. I tried to get pregnant too, but it didn't happen. I slept with so many boys, men. My body refused. I think my period stopped because hers had. I was pretty ill. I mean, how could we stay the same now? I felt like Hannah had really fucked things up. Set us down separate paths. We had become different. 
Uh... Uh, what? She referred to Hannah in third person. Okay, that changes everything. Does she have a sister? Does she have a twin? All right, I'm going to figure that out in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. I am so in love with this. This is fucking cool. This is so cool. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye.